Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel Creative Grandma. Today's crochet tutorial is for the Granny Ombre Afghan or Blanket. Now this is a little wider than I usually make my afghans, but I'm a bigger person and I just wanted something to really cuddle up in. So let me give you more information about the size, the stitch multiple if you want to change the size of the afghan, and what you're going to need to make this afghan today. So here is an up close look at this gorgeous afghan that we're doing today. Now I have mine folded in fours because this is a really large afghan. Now this afghan measures 52 inches wide by 63 inches long. Now you can change the size of the afghan to any size you wish by using the stitch multiple of four plus two. So you would chain four, then chain four again, and keep chaining in multiples of four. When you get it to the width you want, then you add two more chains. So for our project today, I'm using Red Heart Super Saver Ombre, and this comes in a large 10 ounce, 283 gram, 482 yards, 440 meter skein. It's a machine wash and dryable yarn. That's why I love the Red Heart Super Saver. It's 100% acrylic and it's a four medium worsted weight yarn. Now Red Heart Super Saver to me is one of those workhorse yarns. It's very affordable and yes, it may not be as soft as some of the other yarns, but I have used Red Heart Super Saver for over 40 some years and all my afghans have held up for decades they wash up well they dry well and they just it's just a really nice yarn to use and you can always use some fabric softener to, to soften up the yarn so you're going to need six skeins and this is color green apple color number 4933 and they have many other color choices to choose from with this gradient color. They're very, very pretty. One of my favorites is a very pretty, almost like a Caribbean blue. So make sure you check out those other colors. Actually, this is my favorite color right here. I didn't even realize it was on the label. Can you imagine this afghan made using this color? So just about any color they have, you're going to love it made in this yarn. So Sandra Benefield, thank you for being a patron of my channel and I know that you wanted to see this yarn worked up in an afghan. So I chose a very simple interlace granny stitch and then I finished it off with just a delicate granny stitch pico border with a pretty large chain stitch to make that loop stand out. So just a really nice easy pattern. You're also going to need a size I9 or 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and again remember if you want to make the afghan smaller you can get away with a little less yarn but if you want to make it bigger then make sure you buy extra yarn so again for today's project six skeins of the super saver ombre in the color of your choice and a size i9 crochet hook so let's jump right in and let's get this project started to begin our project, I already have my yarn attached to my hook and I just used a double knot. Now for this design, if you're making it as wide as I am, then we're going to begin and chain 162 chains. So you're going to yarn over your hook and pull through the loop on your hook. This creates your first chain and the loop on your hook does not count as a chain. That's one, two, three, four, five, continue until you have a total of 162 chains and I'll be back and we'll start row one. I'm back, I have my chain with 162 chains. Now my recommendation is start and do a double stitch count of that beginning chain because the last thing you wanna do is get to the end of row one and have to redo and rip out. So just do a real quick double stitch count. Make sure you have a total of 162 chains across your chain. So let me zoom up and we're going to go ahead and get started on row one. 
To begin row one, we're going to start and we're going to skip the first five chain and work three double crochet into the sixth chain from hook. You're going to yarn over, skip five chains, one, two, three, four, and five, insert into the sixth chain, and we're going to make a double crochet. Yarn over, pull through that chain, you have three loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops only. Yarn over and pull through two loops. That's how you do a double crochet. We're going to work two more double crochet back into that same chain. Yarn over, insert into that chain, work two double crochet. One, and two. When you look at your work, you're going to have this chain five here at the end, and then three double crochet into that sixth chain from hook. So now we're ready to begin our repeat. So if you need help with the repeat, just start where I say this is the start of the repeat, work until I say this is the end of the repeat, and we're going to work that across to the end of the row, and then we're going to end our last repeat with only two double crochet. So I'll walk you right through it step by step. So let's begin the repeat. You're going to chain one, you're going to yarn over, skip the next three chain, one, two, three, into the next chain, work three double crochet. One, two, and three. And that is the end of the repeat. Very simple repeat for this row. So let's do the repeat again. You're going to chain one. You're going to skip the next three chain into the next chain work three double crochet. One, two, and three. And that is the end of the repeat. Let's do it again. Chain one, skip the next three chains, work three double crochet into that next chain. One, two, and three. So I'll do it one more time with you. You're going to chain one, skip the next three chains, into that fourth chain, work three double crochet. One, two, and three. And if you hear that clicking, that is my computer telling me I have an email, so sorry about the clicking. So go ahead and continue and you're going to chain one. You're going to skip the next three chain and work three double crochet into that fourth chain. You're going to repeat that across to the end and we're going to do our last repeat with only two double crochet. So I'll meet you at the last repeat at the end of row one. I'm over at the end of row one and we have one more repeat to go. So we're going to end the last repeat with only two double crochet. So let's go ahead and finish row one. We're going to chain one. We're going to skip the next three chain and into the very last chain we're going to work two double crochet. One, yarn over, insert back into that very last chain, work your second double crochet. And that is how you end row one. Now it's time to begin row two. 
For row two, we're going to begin with the chain two. Now this beginning chain two will count as your first double crochet. You're going to turn your work. We're going to skip the beginning chain two, and again, that counts as the first stitch. We're going to skip this next double crochet, and we're going to be working into the chain one spaces across our row. So let's begin. We're going to work a double crochet into this next chain one space, yarn over, insert underneath and around the chain one, work your double crochet. Now we're going to work a triple crochet and we're going down to the foundation chain into that middle chain of the three. We're going right into that second chain. You're going to yarn over twice, drop your hook down to that foundation chain, insert into the second chain right into the middle of those skip three, yarn over, pull around that chain one space and through that chain on the foundation row. You have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops only. Yarn over, pull through two loops only. Yarn over and pull through two loops. So I'm just going to pull my stitches over and we're going to work one more double crochet into the same chain one space on the left hand side of that triple just made. You're going to yarn over, insert into that same chain one space, work a double crochet. And when you look at your work into that chain one space, you worked a double crochet, a triple crochet below the chain one space into that second chain of those skip three, and then you worked a double crochet back in to that chain one space on the side of the triple just made. You're going to chain one. So let's go ahead and start the repeat. We're going to skip the next three double crochet, double crochet into that next chain one space, Now we're going to work a triple crochet into the second chain of that foundation chain. You're going to yarn over twice, drop your hook down to the foundation row, insert into that middle chain, that second chain, and we're working around that chain one space above. Yarn over the hook, pull it through that chain space. You have four loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made your triple crochet. So you can go ahead and just use your fingers, pull it back so you can see that same chain one space. You're going to yarn over, insert into the same chain one space on the side of the triple just made, work a double crochet. You're going to chain one. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's do it again. You're going to skip the next three double crochet, double crochet into the next chain one space. Then we're going to work a triple crochet into the second chain of that foundation row. Yarn over twice, drop down, insert into that second chain, work a triple crochet. Just pull your stitches over so you can see your chain one space. And if you use your fingers or your fingernail, that's what I do. I just stick it right in there so I know where my space is. And then we're going to double crochet back into that same chain one space. You're going to chain one. And that is the end of the repeat. And when you're looking at your work, you can see how that triple fills in this open space. It comes down and just helps make that a more solid pattern. So let's do it again. Again, this is the start of the repeat. You're going to skip the next three stitches, double crochet into the next chain one space. Now we're going to triple crochet into that second chain on the foundation row. You're going to yarn over twice, 
drop down to that second chain of the foundation chain, insert into that chain, work your triple crochet. Pull your stitches over and then double crochet back into that same chain one space. Chain one. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and continue. You're going to skip the next three stitches. Then you're going to work a double crochet into that chain one space and then a triple crochet into the second chain of those three skip chains in the foundation row and then a double crochet back into that chain one space. Then you're going to chain one. So if you need help, just click back on the video, repeat that across until you get to your last repeat of row two and I'll meet you there. I'm over at the end of row two. I just worked my last full repeat and you should have three double crochet and your turning chain remaining. So to end the row, we're going to skip the next three double crochet and we're going to work two double crochet into this space right here between the skip three double crochet and your ending turning chain. So yarn over, skip those last three double crochet insert into the space between the skip stitches and your turning chain work two double crochet one and two and row two is finished and this is what your work should look like now we're ready to begin row three we're going to start with the chain two and you're going to turn your work. Again, the beginning chain two counts as the first double crochet. So we're skipping this first stitch. We're skipping the next double crochet and we're going to double crochet into this next chain one space. Yarn over, insert into the chain one space, work a double crochet. Now we're going to work a triple crochet, two rows below, one, two, right into the center double crochet. So you're going to have three stitches and you want to go right into the center double crochet. Yarn over twice, drop down two rows, one, two, insert into the center double crochet of that three double crochet set and we're working right around the chain one space above work a triple crochet. Pull those stitches over and then double crochet back into that same chain one space. You're going to chain one and that is the end of the repeat. You're going to skip the next three stitches you're going to double crochet into this next chain one space, yarn over, insert underneath and around the chain one, work your double crochet. Yarn over twice, you're going to drop down two rows, one, two, and you're going to have three double crochet stitches we're going into the center stitch. Insert under the top two loops of that second stitch. You're going underneath the chain one space. Work your triple. Yarn over, pull back through that stitch. You have four loops. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made your triple crochet. Pull these stitches back. Look for that chain one space. Yarn over, insert into the chain one space, work your double crochet. You're going to chain one and that is the end of the repeat. So let's do the repeat again. You're going to skip the next three stitches, double crochet into the next chain one space. Now we're going to work a triple crochet two rows below into that center stitch. Again, you have three stitches and you're going right into the top center stitch. Yarn over twice, 
drop down two rows, one, two, insert into the center double crochet stitch, work a triple crochet. Just pull your stitches over and double crochet back into that chain one space on the top current row. You're going to chain one. So go ahead and continue. If you need help, just click back on the video. You're going to double crochet into this next chain one space, triple crochet into the center double crochet two rows below, and then double crochet back into that same chain one space and then chain one. Repeat that across until you get to your ending turning chain and I'll meet you there. I'm over at the end of row three. This is what your work should look like. And when you get over and you work your last full repeat, you're going to have a total of three stitches and your turning chain. So to end the row, we're going to work two double crochet into the space between the ending turning chain and the three remaining stitches. So yarn over, skip the last three stitches, insert into the space between the skip three stitches and your turning chain, work two double crochet. One, and two. So row three is finished. Again, this is what your work should look like across your row. Very beautiful stitch pattern. And the more you do, the prettier it gets with those color changes. To continue working on your afghan, you're just going to repeat row three for the pattern and you're going to continue working row three until you have a total of 124 rows. So again, if you need help, just click back on the video, repeat row three until you have a total of 124 rows, and I'll meet you at the end of row 124. I'm over at the end of row 124 and again this afghan is quite large to fit in my viewfinder so let's zoom on up and when you look at your work you're going to see that the last row has these open spaces so the very last row that we do the finishing row is going to close up these spaces and give it the more finished look so again, we're at the end of row 124, and now we're going to do our very last finishing row for row 125. We're going to begin row 125 with a chain two, one, two, and you're going to turn your work. We're going to skip the beginning chain two, and we're skipping this first stitch. We're skipping the next double crochet, and we're going to double crochet into this chain one space. Yarn over, insert underneath the chain one space, work your double crochet. Now we're going to work our triple crochet, two rows below, right into that second stitch of that three stitch group. Yarn over twice, drop down two rows, insert into that second stitch, work a triple crochet. Pull your stitches over and then double crochet back into that same chain one space. Now we're going to skip the next stitch and double crochet into that next stitch, which is the center stitch of that three stitch group. And then we're going to skip this next double crochet. Now we're ready to begin our repeat. We're going to double crochet into the next chain one space, triple crochet two rows below into that center stitch,
pull your stitches over and then double crochet back into that chain one space of the top current row. You're going to skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch, which is the center stitch of that three stitch group, and then skip that next double crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. And you can see how it's closing up that space and we no longer have a space at the top. So let's go ahead and do the repeat again. You're going to double crochet into that next chain one space, triple crochet two rows below right into the center stitch, go under the top two loops, work your triple crochet. You can pull your stitches over so you can see your chain one space better and then double crochet back into the chain one space of the top current row. You're going to skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch, which is the center stitch of that three stitch group, and then skip the next stitch. And again, that is the end of the repeat. So repeat that across until you get to your ending turning chain. And again, if you need help, just click back on the video and I'll meet you at the end of row 125 at your ending turning chain. I'm over at the end of row 125. This is what your work looks like and you're over to your last three double crochet and your ending turning chain. So we're going to end the row by skipping the next three double crochet and working two double crochet into the space between the skip three double crochet and your turning chain. Insert into that space, work two double crochet. One, and two. So row 125 is finished. So now the main part of our afghan is finished, so I'm just going to fasten off. Now this afghan is way too large to get the whole thing in the viewfinder. So we're just going to fasten off our work. I chain two, pull my hook up, pull the yarn out, grab the yarn, pinch, pull down and it creates a secure knot. Now I'll weave all my ends in on the wrong side of my work when I get my afghan all finished. So row 125 is finished and now we fastened off and now we're going to use the same color for our afghan border. So we're not going to turn our work because we're already on the right side. We're just going to go over to the top right hand corner of our afghan. So leave your afghan just the way it is. Do not turn your afghan. We're just going back over to the right hand side corner. I'm over at the top right hand corner and this is the beginning of row 125. We just went right back over to where we started the last row worked and we're going to start our afghan border. So let me zoom up just a little bit more. I already have my yarn attached to my hook and I just used a double knot. We're going right up to the top of this beginning chain two. So you're going to count up one, two, insert right into the top of that beginning chain two and slip stitch your yarn through that chain and through the loop on your hook. And this just creates a nice secure join of your yarn. So to begin round one, we're going to chain one and then we're going to work right back into the same joining chain, insert back into that chain, work a single crochet. You're going to chain three, one, two, three, and then back into that same chain, right back where we started, pull those stitches back, insert back into that same chain, work a single crochet. And what we're forming is a V stitch of a single crochet, chain three, single crochet. 
So now we're going to start the repeat. And when you first start this repeat, your stitches are going to cover up this next stitch. So make sure you have your stitches pulled back and really make sure you're watching your stitches. We're going to skip the next two stitches, insert into the next stitch under the top two loops, work a single crochet, chain three, insert back into that same stitch, work a single crochet. And again, we're working a single crochet, chain three, single crochet all into that same stitch. So let's do the repeat again. You're going to skip the next two stitches, insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet, chain three, insert back into that same stitch, work a single crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. Let's do it again. Skip the next two stitches, insert into the next stitch under the top two loops, work a single crochet, chain three, insert back into that same stitch, work a single crochet. Skip the next two stitches, insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet, chain three, insert back into that same stitch, work a single crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. Very simple repeat. So go ahead and continue. You're going to skip the next two stitches into the next stitch you're going to work a single crochet, chain three, single crochet. Repeat that across until you get to the last four stitches and I'll meet you at the next corner. I'm over at my first corner. I'm working on round one of our afghan border and we're at the top corner, our very first corner, and you should have a total of four stitches remaining. So now to end this side of the afghan border, we're going to skip three stitches and we're going to work a single crochet into this very last stitch at the top. Insert into that last stitch, work a single crochet. You're going to chain three, insert back into that same stitch, work a single crochet. So the top of our afghan is finished. This is what it looks like so far. Now we're going to form our corner. So we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. So now we're going to be working down the length of our afghan and we're going to be working in the end stitches. So when we work our stitches, we're going to go right underneath the post of that very last stitch of the row when we're working down and work our stitches right around the post of the stitch. So we're going to start right away into the very first row end stitch, insert underneath and around that first row end stitch, work a single crochet. You're going to chain three, insert back underneath and around that same row end stitch, work a single crochet. You're going to skip this next row end stitch, insert into the next row end stitch. Again, you're going underneath and around the post of that stitch, work a single crochet, chain three, insert back into that same row and stitch, work a single crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's do it again. You're going to skip the next row and stitch, insert underneath and around the next row and stitch, work a single crochet, chain three, insert underneath and around that same row and stitch, work a single crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. Let's do it again. Skip the next row end stitch, insert underneath the post of that next row end stitch, work a single crochet, chain three, 
insert back underneath and around that same row end stitch, work a single crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and continue. You're going to skip this next row end stitch. Into the next row end stitch, you're going to work a single crochet, chain three, single crochet, right around the post of that stitch. Skip the next row end stitch, work a single crochet, chain three, single crochet around the next row end stitch. Repeat that down to your next corner and I'll meet you there. I'm over at my next corner. We just worked down the length of our afghan and you've done your last repeat in the last row end stitch. So now we need to form our corner. So we're just going to chain three, one, two, and three. So now we're just going to swing our afghan around and we're going to be working on the bottom of the afghan across the foundation chain and each chain is going to count as a stitch. So when you look at your work, you'll notice it has a little ridge. Here's a chain, here's a chain, here's a chain, and we're working in the chains. So let's begin. We're going to start and work right into the very first chain going across the bottom of the afghan. Insert into that first chain, work a single crochet, chain three, insert back into that same first chain, work a single crochet. And now we're going to start our repeat. We're going to skip the next two chains, insert into the next chain, work a single crochet, chain three, insert back into that same chain, work a single crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's do it again. You're going to skip the next two chain, one, two, insert into the next chain, work a single crochet, chain three, insert back into that same chain, work a single crochet. And again, that is the end of the repeat. You're going to skip the next two chains, one, two, and be careful because where you're putting all these three stitches can stretch this chain out. So you have to pay close attention to where your chain is. So skip one, two chains, insert into the next chain, work a single crochet, chain three, insert back into that same chain, work a single crochet. So go ahead and continue. If you need help, just click back on the video, repeat that across until you get within four chains from the corner and I'll meet you there. I'm over at my next corner. This is what your border looks like so far going across the bottom of the afghan. And when you get over towards the next corner, you're going to have a total of four chains remaining. So what we're going to do is we're going to skip those next four chains and we're going into the next chain that's coming down the side of our afghan in that turning chain. So let's go ahead and work around the corner together. You're going to skip the next four chain one, two, three, and four. And into this next chain, the first chain at the base of that turning chain, you're going to work a single crochet, chain three, one, two, and three. And then back into that same chain, work a single crochet and that completes the bottom portion of the afghan. Now we're going to work our corner of a chain three, one, two, and three. We're just going to swing our afghan around and now we're going to be working 
in the row and stitches down the length of our afghan. So we're going to go right into the first row and stitch and we're going to repeat it exactly as we did on the other side. So let's go ahead and begin. You're going to insert into the first row and stitch going underneath and around the post of that stitch. Work a single crochet, chain three, insert back into that same row and stitch, work a single crochet. And you can see how our corner is formed. So now we're going to go ahead and start our repeat down the length. We're going to skip this next row and stitch. Into the next row and stitch, you're going to single crochet, chain three, insert back underneath and around that same row and stitch work a single crochet and that is the end of the repeat let's do it again you're going to skip the next row and stitch insert into the next row and stitch work a single crochet chain three and single crochet back into that same row and stitch and that is the end of the repeat. So let's do it one more time together. You're going to skip this next row and stitch, insert into the next row and stitch, work a single crochet, chain three, insert back underneath and around that same row and stitch, work a single crochet and that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and continue. You're going to skip this next row and stitch. Into this next row and stitch, you're going to work a single crochet, chain three, single crochet. Skip the next row and stitch, work a single crochet, chain three, single crochet into the next row and stitch, and you're going to repeat that down to your next corner, and I'll meet you there. I'm over at my last corner of round one of our afghan border. We just worked our V-stitch of a single crochet, chain three single crochet, down the length of our afghan. And now I have one repeat to go. I'm going to skip this next row end stitch and I'm going to single crochet into this last row end stitch. If you're looking at your work, this is the first single crochet we've done of round one. So we're going to finish with a repeat of a single crochet, chain three, and a single crochet into that same last row end stitch. Now we need to form our corner, so we're going to chain three, and then we're going to come over to our beginning single crochet, and we're going to slip stitch under the top two loops, yarn over, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. Round one is finished. So now we're ready to begin round two of our afghan border. So we're right here in the beginning single crochet, and we need to slip stitch into this first chain three space. So insert underneath the chain three space, yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook. Now we're ready to begin round two. We're going to start with the chain three, one, two, three, and this beginning chain three counts as our first double crochet. We're going to double crochet back into the same chain three space, yarn over, insert into that chain three space, work a double crochet. Now we're going to work a pico stitch, only we're going to chain five instead of three. You're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. You want to come back down to the last double crochet stitch made. You're going to go into the front loop and you're going to go into the loop right below in the side of that stitch. So you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. You just made your pico stitch. Now we're ready to begin our repeat. And for our repeat, we're working in the chain three spaces of each V-stitch around. So let's begin. 
you're going to yarn over, insert into the next chain three space of that next V stitch and work two double crochet. One, and two. Now we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Just grab that chain five, pull it back. You're going to bring your hook down to the very last double crochet made. You're going to go into the front loop and then right into the loop right directly below in the side of that stitch. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Your pico stitch is made, but we're using a chain five for that pico stitch. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's do it again. Yarn over, insert into the chain three space of that next V stitch, work two double crochet. One, and two. You're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. Grab your chain five, you're going to pull it back, you're going to insert right into the front loop of the last double crochet stitch made and right into the loop below on the side of the stitch. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Your pico stitch is made and this is what that last round of your border is going to look like. Now if you decide you don't want your loops this big, you can downsize, you can do a chain three, a chain four, a chain five. Now I wouldn't go over a chain five because you don't want great big loops. This is about as big as I wanted to go. So let's do the repeat again. Yarn over, find your next V stitch, insert into the chain three space, work two double crochet. One, and two. You're going to chain five, two, three, four, and five. You're going to grab the chain five, you're going to pull it back, insert into the top front loop of the last stitch made, and then the loop right below on the side of that stitch. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Your pico stitch is made, and this is what your work should look like. So I'm going to do it one more time with you and then you can continue on your own. Find your next V stitch, yarn over, insert into the chain three space you're going underneath and working your stitches around, work two double crochet. One, and two. You're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. Just grab that chain five, pull it back. You're going to bring your hook down. You're going to go into the top front loop of that last double crochet made and then right into the loop below. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. And this is what your work should look like so far. So go ahead and repeat two double crochet. You're going to chain five and slip stitch in the top of that last double crochet made. And you're going to repeat that across the top of your afghan until you get to this corner chain three space. So you'll see that when you get to the corner, you're going to have three chain three spaces going around. You're going to stop right here at that center chain three space and I'll meet you there. I'm over at my first corner. Again, we're working on round two of our afghan border. This is what it looks like. And when you get to the top corner, you're going to again see those three chain three spaces going around the corner. And we're working our corner right into that center chain three space of those three at the corner. So what we're going to do is we're just going to repeat our repeat 
two times in this corner. It just helps fill in that corner and transition around to the other side. So let's go ahead and work our corner. You're going to yarn over, insert into that corner chain three space, work two double crochet. One, and two. You're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. Grab that chain five, pull it back. You're going to insert into the top front loop and the side loop right below it in the last double crochet made and slip stitch through all three loops on your hook. So that is one repeat. And now we're going to do it one more time into that same corner chain three space. Yarn over, insert back into that corner chain three, work two double crochet. One. And two. You're going to chain five. Pull that chain five back, insert into the top front loop and then the loop right below in the side of that last double crochet made and slip stitch through all three loops on your hook. And you can see how it just takes you right around the corner. And now we're just going to start working down the other side of our afghan. You're going to yarn over, insert into the next chain three space, work two double crochet. One and two. You're going to chain five. Bring your hook around to the front of your work. Insert into the top front loop only. And then the loop right below in the side of the last double crochet made and slip stitch. So that is how you do your corner. So now all you're going to do is continue and you're going to work two double crochet the chain five slip stitch in the last double crochet worked in each of your chain three spaces down your length. And when you get to the corner, you're going to repeat that repeat two times in the corner chain three space. So if you need help, just click back on the video. Again, you're going to work the repeat in each chain three space across to the corner and then repeat the repeat twice in that corner chain three space. Repeat that around and I'll meet you at the end of round two. I'm over at the end of round two of our afghan border. I just worked my corner where we did the repeat two times in the corner chain three space. And now we're back over to our beginning chain three. So we're going to join with the slip stitch into the top of that beginning chain three. Count up one, two, three. Insert into the top chain. Yarn over, pull through that chain, and pull through the loop on your hook. Round two is finished. Now I'm just going to go ahead and fasten off my work. And when I fasten off, I chain two. I pull my hook up, pull the yarn out, grab the yarn, pinch, pull down, and it creates a secure knot. So I'm gonna grab my yarn needle and I'm gonna weave all my ends in through the back and I go under the loops of a matching stitch with the same color, I bring it over and then I bring it back. And then if my strand of yarn is long enough, I even take it back through a third time. And that helps from your ends coming out when you wash your afghan time after time. So always nice to make sure those ends are nice and secure. So let me weave in my ends and I'll be back and show you the finished afghan. Our afghan is finished. This is what the final afghan looks like. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial, so please make sure you hit that like button, and if you haven't subscribed, please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the crochet fun here at Creative Grandma's channel. Happy crocheting, everyone!